Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but you'd really be helping me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. OK, so how annoyed do you get with your fine hair if you've got thin hair? If you're a man watching this, when you style your hair, do you see your scalp sometimes when you're a woman? If you style your hair, if you have uh, got real nice, real nice glamorous curls, as soon as you walk out of the hairdressers, then it falls flat straight away. Or how about you get halfway through the day and whether you're a man or a woman, your hair just looks quite lank, quite flat and just washes you right out. Yeah, I know what that feels like as well. I am in the process of growing longer hair. I really like my hair to look as thick and full as possible. I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. I don't have thinning hair. I do have thin hair in places and it's thicker in other places. But ultimately, I have fine hair. And I can relate to you about a whole lot of problems which comes to having fine hair. And believe you me, if you've got fine hair or thin hair or thinning hair or you've lost a lot of your hair, your hairstyle can still look amazing and your hairstyle can still ultimately look absolutely incredible. Whether you're a man, it can look really, really smart and amazing. Whether you're a woman, it can look really, really glamorous and just damn right incredible. With, of course, the right know-how and the right products. Today, I want to talk to you a brand which is one which I've been using for only a week, but I have had such an impression from it, I am now ready to give you my review. I always try to use it for a handful of times, or if it's a longer product because it's designed to do something to our hair or our scalp, then I will give it the time. But I have used it for a fair enough time. A week for me is enough to give you my impression and my review. OK, so we are looking at the Charles Worthington. Here we go. We are looking at the Charles Worthington Thicker and Fuller Densifying Conditioner and Densifying Shampoo. So we're looking at these here. And with that, we are looking at the Thicker and Fuller Densifying Mousse. Now, personally, being a man, I wouldn't necessarily buy a mousse style product. But I thought because it was part of the range. Now, apparently within a week, and this is why I've reviewed it for a week, because in a week, it says that you can have denser, fuller, thicker hair, which for me, I'll be honest, I hold my hands up. For me, that's just completely not possible. <laughs> then think about it. As a cosmetic effect on our hair, then yes, it could well be possible. But sort of down to genetics, down to stress, down to our lifestyle, down to health, and just understanding the whole cycle of the hair, which of course is notoriously difficult, a week is literally no time at all to change the density on your scalp. So I think with this range, it is really, really important to have a healthy expectation of what you can achieve. And yes, you may well be able to achieve thicker, fuller, denser looking hair. But realistically, within a week, your hair just isn't going to change. So just have that realistic sort of expectation there, because I would hate for you to sort of look at this and think, wow, thicker hair in a week. And no, it doesn't happen. You can make it look thicker in two days or in a day you can make it look thick and full. But in a week, you're not going to have that true density if it's wet or even if you don't use the system, you're going to then use it once. Then you're going to have amazingly thick hair after one week. It doesn't work like that. You have to use these products with the right know how, the right styling to get thicker, fuller looking hair. Let's move on to something more positive. So let's start with the shampoo. So this one's really interesting. So this is the Charles Worthington London Thicker and Fuller Densifying Shampoo. Hair feels thicker in just one week whilst reducing breakage. OK, so we're going to come on to the breakage part afterwards because that's a little bit of a different story. So up to 90 percent here. So it's for fine and thin hair. It's 250 mils. Seven pounds this cost me under a three for two offer at Boots here in the UK. Hence why I've got the shampoo, the conditioner and the densifying mousse. OK, you can get a little bit cheaper. You can do that uh, slightly cheaper on Amazon UK. Um, and in a few other stores, you can get a bit cheaper, such as Superdrug here in the UK as well. Now, for men's hair, slightly different, of course, to women's hair. When you're looking for density, that can obviously be the uh, the temples of the head and the back of the scalp and that can be down to pattern related thinning or if it's just because that you've been gifted in life with very super fine thin sort of flyaway quite see-through hair still can look amazing but with the right products so this stuff does it work yes it does it is a nice product to use now in here it's got beads in it which i believe is the vitamin e beads which care for the scalp and reduce breakage so this is a cleansing and nourishing shampoo enriched with encapsulated vitamin e beads which care for the scalp and reduce breakage up to 90 percent i'll be quite honest with you 
The beads are pointless. I'm really, really sorry to say that. They're completely pointless. Once you've lathered it up in your hands, they just completely disappear. Now, that doesn't mean that it's a novel product because it, it's not. It's got it's got quite a quite a feminine sort of fragrance smell to it, but it's fresh. I wouldn't mind using it as a man at all. Wouldn't, wouldn't mind using that at all. Wouldn't really bother me. But for some, it may do. It has got a really nice smell. It goes through the hair, lathers the hair really, really nicely. You don't need to use loads of it. Small amount of it when your hair's already wet. It lathers nicely. With a shampoo, I always, always take time just to massage my scalp a little bit because you're getting that circulation going. You're helping those hair roots with the blood flow pumping there. So if you're concerned with your hair, make sure you take time and massage your scalp. Another thing which just points out for it, when you're washing it through, it does make the hair feel it does make the hair feel like that you've got some sort of thickening product going on here. So there's definitely something in there which is trying to work at making your hair appear thicker and fuller. So it's great. Got no sort of bad remarks, nothing about it at all like that in terms of your first step of creating the thickness and fullness journey for your hair. It is really nice. It's got a nice smell. And as I say, it's it puts you onto that step of then leading to the conditioner, which brings us perfectly to the densifying conditioner. So again, densifying conditioner, hair feels thicker in just one week whilst reducing up to 90% of breakage for fine and thin hair. I've got to read you on the back a little bit of the shampoo. So we have got here, love your healthy hair, make hair feel thicker and fuller in just one week. This cleansing, nourishing shampoo and rich with encapsulated vitamin E beads will care for the scalp and reduce breakage up to 90% for hair that feels soft, manageable and youthful. Of course, because we link youth with thick and full hair, but of course, hair loss, hair thinning, um, flat, fine hair can affect anyone from the youngest of age to anyone up into their 90s and even older. My grandmother, who I've recently lost, who I'm absolutely finding it very, very difficult on a daily basis. My grandmother had incredible hair up until the age of 95. She was two day, uh, a couple of days just shy of her birthday when I tragically lost my nan. And I'm finding that very, very difficult. My nan was an incredibly glamorous lady. Her hair right up until that age was absolutely stunning. Excuse me, I've got something catching in my throat. It was absolutely stunning. And um, we're back. Okay. So, my, um, as I was saying, my grandmother's hair was right up until that age, absolutely incredible. So, um, so, it doesn't matter what age, if you're starting to have problems with your hair, if you're starting to have problems with your hair, using product which is aimed for your hair is vitally important. So don't go buying something for frizzy or dry hair if your hair is healthy, but it's just flat and it's lank and it just it needs a boost. Always go for something with volume. So this shampoo is really, really great for that. I'm going to come back to the breakage element afterwards. Okay, so the conditioner, as we've looked at, is part of the range. It's the second step, of course, is the densifying conditioner. Hair feels thicker and fuller. Now, this is really creamy in formula. It's really, it, you'd, you'd kind of think that it would make the hair feel quite heavy because it is so rich and creamy with it. I leave this on for a couple of minutes, um, and what you, you end up with is a really nice, smooth, sleek, but yet you can still feel some texture in the hair. Um, and it just makes the hair feel really, really nice and smooth. What I would say about this is you sometimes need a little bit more as opposed to the shampoo. As you can see, I've gone through this quite a lot in a week. And the shampoo I've barely touched, to be quite honest with you. I've barely touched. I've, of course, I've used it. And it's, what are we? We're down to about here. So, but as you can see for the packaging, I've not used loads of it at all because you don't need loads of that. But I do find that to get the effect, you do need quite a lot of the conditioner. So as opposed to that, I think you would go through way more of the conditioner than you would the shampoo. But do you know what? It delivers. It makes the hair feel fuller. Now, as you're drying the hair, I've done it several different ways now. So I've used a shampoo and the conditioner and then I've dried my hair off. But of course, we're all interested in the next step, which is the third step, which is the densifying mousse. Now, the conditioner, by the way, that's seven pounds. Again, part of the three for two range. The mousse is eight pounds. So the shampoo and the conditioner are 250 mils each, and they are really great for creating fullness and volume in the hair. Men and women's hair, brilliant. Brilliant for that. Good. Absolutely good. However, I do find that you do need to use good styling products after for that volume to hold because where I find the conditioner is a little bit heavy, it does make the hair appear to go a little bit lank after you leave it. If you've got length hair like me, if it's if it's sort of, if I pull it down through the front of my face, it's just towards my chin now, just past my chin. And I did find that it made the roots feel quite heavy and lank 
as you progress throughout the day. So if you're looking at this and you're thinking you don't want to use any styling products or anything like that, you may need to use something just to sustain the thickness and the fullness which you've created here, or the look of, rather, as to speak. Then let's move on to the mousse. So this is a really good product. It's not really like a traditional mousse product because if you have ever used a mousse product before for volume or thickness, it's crunchy, it's stiff, it's quite tacky, it's just not a nice experience. We have a lot of mousses on the market. This is really good. Now it says here, and we're going to go into the detail on what it says on the back here. It says the more you use, the denser and the thicker your hair feels. Well, in my opinion, I don't agree with that. The more you use of this, Yes, you get that fullness, but you almost get like a sticky feel start to come in the hair or a little bit ever so slightly like straw like towards the ends of your hair. But if you use a small amount of it, and I'd say a golf ball size to a two golf ball size amount for my amount of hair throughout the roots and then pull through ever so slightly towards the lengths of your hair. And then just roughly dry it off with your hands, with a blow dryer in one hand, with your hand. And then I use a rectangular brush just to literally pull through. And I always dry my hair off on the opposite way I'm wearing it. That's a tip to get the fullest looking hair. So if you're wearing your hair to the right, blow dry it off to the left. If you're blowing it on the left, blow dried off to the right difficult to say but really does make sense and helps on this stuff just you can really feel the hair kind of ever so slightly inflating whilst you're drying your hair off now this is of course the charles worthington london thicker and fuller densifying mousse increase hair density by up to 180 percent with thermal protection okay i'm just going to say i find that absolutely rubbish by 180 percent no just no setting you a realistic expectation 180 percent no completely wrong. Um, for me, yes, it creates volume. Yes, it makes the roots of your hair look thicker. However, again, I do say that you need to use a bit of a styling product, a bit of a, a hairspray or a free spray, just to hold it in place because it does start to get a little bit heavy partway throughout the day. But it works, you know, it does work. The thermal protection, yes, okay, I agree with, which is fantastic to have in there. For fine and thin hair, Brilliant. And when I say I agree with the thermal protection, I always believe that our styling products to make our hair look thicker and fuller should have it in there. I'm going to link that with the element of the breakage by up to 90% apparently in just a moment. So this stuff, really, really good. 200 mils. It'll tell you a little bit about it on the back here. Love your healthy hair. Hair feels thicker from root to tip in just one use. Enriched with marshmallow flower, this unique technology strengthens polymers, increases hair density by up to 180%. Not sure. Leaving the finest of hair looking fuller and uh, looking and feeling fuller. How to use, shake can well, dispense into the palm of your hand, apply evenly through damp hair, root to tip before blow drying. For the more you use, the fuller it feels. The fuller it feels, yes, but it starts to feel a bit tacky and a little bit heavy and a bit cakey. So just be careful with that. It's sulfate free, which is fantastic. It's vegan friendly with natural ingredients and widely recyclable, which is brilliant exactly what we need as i always say with products it's great to know that with the recycling because i want my children's children's children to still have this incredible world we live in so it's great that you're responsible as a consumer and it's great that you know that your products which you're buying are responsible as well and also on the packaging of the shampoo and the conditioner it says here now with 15 percent less plastic so that's great so less in our oceans and our environments it's vegan friendly and it's 100 percent recyclable so that is fantastic Okay, so ultimately, for creating fuller, thicker looking hair, it's 10 out of 10. Great. Probably 9 out of 10, I would say. Halfway throughout the day, if you don't use any styling products, then if you get to a little bit later on in the day, for me, it comes down to about an 8. But here's where it gets interesting. The breakage. So it's really, really great for volume and texture. Really, really great for that. Absolutely amazing. But for breakage, I don't agree with the up to 90% breakage. I've got like grown out highlights in my hair. And let me tell you something, I did find that after using this, with whatever I used it, throughout the latter part of the week up until now, I did find that it made the ends of my hair a little bit straw-like, especially with using the mousse. So yes, it makes the hair nice, and it's really great for volume and texture, as you can see by the roots of my hair today. But I don't know if I was to carry on using it, what it would necessarily start to do to the bottom of the lengths of my hair. Because even though the roots had lots of volume and texture, the mid lengths of my hair felt really good, the ends of my hair felt a little bit straw-like. But if I just use the shampoo and the conditioner, fine, not a problem at all. It's not the most nourishing, but then again, it's for volume and thickness. And for that aspect, that's why I'm giving it so high a mark, because it really does give you the volume and the fullness in your hair. Now the mousse, with it combined, I'm starting to get that little bit of a feeling towards the ends of my hair. So that's where I'm a little bit concerned. Do not agree with the 90% breakage at all. I've used it throughout the week and every now and again, 
I think everybody does if you've had highlighted hair. You get one or two little pieces which you look at and you think, hmm, it doesn't look so healthy on the end there. I've recently had a trim of my hair, but to be quite honest with you, I have not noticed really a difference in terms of that. You still get the odd sort of piece which you look at and you think, oh, great. And if you've got a black T-shirt on, you get one or two sort of pieces which have broke off from it. I think anybody who's styling their hair on a daily basis, anyone who's got bleach in their hair, you are never going to get away from that unless you leave your hair completely alone, unless you leave heat completely alone. But for me, don't agree with the 90% breakage at all. To me, no, don't agree with it in just one week. And I don't agree with the volume mousse increasing up to 180%. I think that's just unrealistic. Otherwise, surely my hair would be all up here. But having said that, in terms of creating thicker, fuller looking hair, amazing. Denser looking hair, not so sure. But for volume, for texture, amazing. And I certainly, certainly do recommend it on that basis. But I just wish these products on our market would have a more of a realistic sort of approach of giving the information to us as a consumer. Because up to 90% reduced breakage in a week, I just don't think that's possible. And to be quite honest with you, 180% volume, really? No, not possible. With the right styling products, yes. Absolutely. But of course, reducing breakage by up to 90% would take months and getting volume in your hair would probably take a couple of weeks, to be quite honest with you. And denser looking hair within just one week. Yeah, come on. Let's be realistic in our approach from that industry. It's a little bit cheeky, I think, to be quite honest with you. But having said that, a really great product and I would certainly recommend you in using it. The Charles Worthington range. I've used the volume uh, range before back at Christmas and that was really, very really good. This one, the thicker, full and dancing, uh, densifying conditioner and shampoo. I would buy again, absolutely, and it will make its way into our family bathroom for other people in my family to use. The mousse I would keep as my go-to product range because this does make your hair look thicker and fuller. Um, just be careful. I think what I would do is in between, I wouldn't use this every day, in between that I would use a nourishing sort of uh, repairing system or a conditioner at least, or um, like a leave-in oil after, not just using this as your shampoo conditioner, uh, volume, volumizing sort of mousse uh, throughout that whole week, or if you were going to use it every single day. I do think that in the end, you may have a bit of a problem with drier lengths in your hair. So again, I think just approach it with caution. It's really great at creating volume. If you have any questions for me, please leave them down below. I'll come back to you as quick as I can, and I'll do my best to answer your questions, of course, with the utmost of honesty and integrity in all of my answers. Okay, so I've really enjoyed, uh, really enjoyed this clip. Thank you very much for being here. It means the world as ever. If you haven't subscribed, please do so or ever and until next time i will be seeing you then okay so wishing you great health you thought i was going to say hair and of course wishing you great hair as well and until next time we will be seeing you then bye for now